can AI replace traders? Because this has been in the news for a long time. AI is coming after your jobs. AI is doing this. AI is doing that. I don't think AI will ever replace the traders. Instead, Dunya ka vartman aur bhavishya. Why does it matter to traders and investors to sort of use AI now? AI se juda hua hai. In all the movies, traders were always shown with like multiple screens and like looking at these different charts. Yeah. And AI is helping remove. How is AI leveling the field now? Today, because of things like ChatGPT or DeepSeek, hmm. etc. Hmm. So yes, you're right. It's trying to level DeepSeek. Coming through, I think it has just become a little more democratized for people to sort of do this, right? Yes. If a hedge fund is building a model like DeepSeek, yeah, you can imagine how. Uh, But what exactly, according to you, is the need of the R right now? AI agents. So, is it safe to say that the day is not far where we'll have a fully automated trading assistant? But the only thing we need to keep in mind is that what next advancement do you see in the financial industry with respect to AI, and how exactly can they be augmented? Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Beyond the Ticker, a podcast where we dive deep into trading, technology and AI in finance. Today we are going to talk about how AI is fundamentally changing the financial market. Joining us today is somebody that I have known for 10 years, Yashu. He has had a diverse career across companies like Mu Sigma where he built the flagship IoT platform, Domino Data Lab where he built the ML model monitoring tool. and then in deserve where he architected the wealth monitor solution hey yashu welcome to the show thanks a lot jatya i'm super excited to be here and talk about how ai is reimagining how india and the world trades uh, but before we get into the details right you as you said we've known each other for yeah. almost 10 years now yeah. uh, how does it feel to finally get an opportunity to <laughs> have an interview with me it seems like just another conversation on our couches <laughs> but yes thank you so much for being here really excited to kick this off we want to sort of ask you first what exactly is the bigger picture here how exactly ai is shaping the financial industry yeah i think ai is uh, touching each and every aspect of the trading and the investing pipeline or process right uh, right from uh, data analysis data gathering crunching all of those numbers analyzing this vast amounts of textual data like news corporate filings etc figuring out the screening process making it easier strategy creation strategy analyzing back testing yeah. and live execution and finally monitoring also how your portfolio health is doing right the entire process i think is uh, is kind of touched by ai at one place or the other right uh, it started with jim simons uh, who's uh, from uh, renaissance technologies yes. whose medallion mm-hmm. fund has beaten the markets by a huge margin for the yeah. longest time and is yeah. it's one of the most profitable uh, funds yeah. all across the world right he pioneered this process or this method of hiring mathematicians and yeah. ml uh, engineers and uh, today we're at a place where almost every big institution big hedge fund they're using yeah in some capacity or the other yeah but i mean why does it matter to traders and investors to sort of use ai now as opposed to earlier yeah so uh, trading and making money out of trades uh, right is a game where you need to make sure you have that edge yeah. over others right yeah. um and that edge is what defines how much profit you'll make in yeah. the end of the day right yeah. similarly for investors also it's important for both traders and investors it's very important to keep an eye out on every single thing what's happening in yeah. the world yeah. all macroeconomic events all small small movements in prices right and ai helps you increase that accuracy the speed the efficiency yeah. of this entire process yeah. i mean historically if you if you think about how traders look like in all the movies traders were always shown with like yeah. multiple screens and like looking at these different charts yeah. and ai is helping remove that changing that picture right yeah. so i think that's where uh, the edge is and that's why it matters to traders and investors like yeah but it's not new to sort of use these things in trading right if i remember correctly in 1980s there were rule based engines that people would sort of go about using yeah. and then when ml came along we could analyze historical data and sort of make those complex queries and make yeah. those complex systems to sort of do this trading and now with the advancements of llms and nlp and deep learning you know with all of your chat gpts and gemini's and now deep seek right. coming through i think it has just become a little more democratized for people to sort of do this right yes yes definitely and uh, regulations also play a major role right uh, sebi regulating authority in india for the yeah. space um, they've also mentioned explicitly in yeah. 2223 report that ai will become a lot more accessible hmm. and will help increase the efficiency of all the traders right but the only thing we need to keep in mind is that you have to use it in a way that it's made to use for yeah. like for example llm like that's that's huge right i mean 
if a hedge fund is building a model like deep seek yeah you can imagine how uh, the financial markets is moving towards yeah. and embracing that right but yeah coming back to the point you have to use it consciously and effectively of where these things are good at yeah. right like for example chat gpt uh, even though it looks like it's very good at analyzing things yeah. it's not built for that it's a it's a text model large language model yes. at the end of the day yeah. so it can hallucinate crucial information yeah. right you can you can ask it to summarize or synthesize information hmm. textual data but you can't ask it to do maths yeah. it won't be good at that because it inherently does not understand those numbers in mathematical calculations so as long as you're you're using it consciously it's good yeah. yeah so i think deep seek would be better on this because it was created by a hedge fund right uh yes you can say that but at the end of the day the core technology is still llm uh, right for calculations i would still be more confident at having a separate pipeline to do those okay. number crunching got it got it i learned moment for me mm-hmm. knowing that deep seek was created by a hedge fund when we talk about analytics and ai together right there's generally a framework that we have sort of grown with in our career right yes. this is called dipp yes. uh, descriptive inquisitive or diagnostic predictive and prescriptive right? right how is ai sort of touching all of these right so dipp framework for for the people who don't know is what was created at uh, uh music ma yeah. it basically it gives structure to the entire analysis process yeah. um so descriptive the d in dipb is descriptive analysis it describes things it synthesizes or summarizes information right this was uh, so one example of that uh, in the financial market space is bloomberg ai is yeah. uh, uh, yeah, yeah. bloomberg terminals ai yeah. right it basically gives you synthesis information uh, of news articles yeah. uh, very fast so that's descriptive then comes inquisitive or uh, diagnostic as the name suggests it basically tells you the why of things like the patterns behind things hmm. there's a lot of uh, models today or ai is used to figure out candlestick patterns out yeah. of the pricing charts right that's the ie from dipb then comes predictive uh, predictive uh, analysis is basically it predicts the next stock prices movements right now this is one thing where again you have to be very conscious because those predictions can go wrong the stakes of failure in these productions are very high right and finally is prescriptive which basically gives you again the ideas of why the prediction works create the entire strategies etc mm-hmm. right this is where bridgewater associates for example they've got a prescriptive model to create the strategies and execute trades etc yeah right? I, re- i remember blackwater also having something called an aladdin system yes, that yes. sort of did that prediction of stock price Correct. movement so uh, you're saying that ai is not only restricted to making those predictions but it can also help you make informed decisions now yes definitely this is where uh, the entire ecosystem of different tools used for uh, trading comes in which is what ag- exactly we are building at tradeomate as well we're trying to solve that problem where trader or the investor does not have to go to multiple different platforms hmm. to do things so you can do like the descriptive analysis of synthesis of news events uh, corporate filings and pricing yeah. data etc wow. into a one tool called stock screener hmm. right which we've built where you can do things hmm. like okay show me uh, all the stocks which have like a positive sentiment and a news and a product launch in the last one week yeah. right it'll give you those list of stocks yeah. then you can do strategy creation etc yeah. on the platform yeah right but earlier i think ai was only restricted to big funds yes. right but now it has sort of you know democratized to other parts thanks to the advancements in llms right right how is ai leveling the field now as compared to how it was earlier yeah so i think historically uh, as always has been Uh, all of these tools they were used it's not like they were never used right yeah. but uh, it was always at like bigger companies with professional traders mm-hmm. and like hedge funds but today because of things like chat gpt or deep seek mm. etc right it's a lot more accessible to the retail user as well mm. so yes you're right it's trying to level uh, the playing field right but again the only thing that i'll uh, i'll call out is this is a big asterisk that you have to use the tools that they are made for yeah right chat gpt is not good for mathematical analysis calculations right but it's very good for synthesizing information yeah. right this is where we come in where we are giving you tools custom built for exactly the things that you a trader would want to do Got right it. so we are leveraging uh, the llm models for things that they are good at synthesizing information yeah but the execution or the analysis number crunching all that happens in house right so as long as the retail trader uses those consciously hmm. and understands the risks and what is built for what i think yes the uh, playing field is being leveled of course yeah i think i mean you you touched upon the traders aspect of things i think in the wider financial markets as well we have seen nasdaq uh, build a smart system to sort of do yes. the fraud detection and insider trading yeah. right even peer to peer lending based on credit worthiness through right. ai has been a boom Right. recently right we have spoken about data driven decision making we have s- sort of spoken about 
how AI is being augmented in a day-to-day -day life. But what exactly, according to you, is the need of the R right now? What exactly should we go towards? Yeah, uh, I have two words for you, or actually it's maybe three words if you remove the ab abbreviation. AI agents. I think that what, is the future. What's AI agents? Uh, AI agents is, you can think of it like you've got a couple of people with you to do anything that you'd want to do, you'd want them to do. For example, you've got one agent who can do all the research that you'd want to do. Hmm. For example, it'll find uh, all the companies, the example that I gave, right? Like, find me all the companies that have launched a uh, product and their sentiment market reception hmm. has been positive over the last hmm. one week, hmm. Hmm. right? It'll scour the web, it'll scour different websites, gather all the data, crunch all of those data and give you the list of those companies, yeah. right? The next agent is maybe for testing your strategies. Yeah. You've got like a golden crossover or an EMA crossover strategy. It'll create that strategy on a backtesting platform. It'll validate it with historical data. It'll give you the metrics, whether it works. You've got one agent for execution, hmm. right? You, you tell it, okay, I, I'm executing these trades. Keep a watch on my portfolio and tell me if there's any red flags, orange flags hmm. or anything like that, right? It'll, it'll give you those alerts whenever it thinks those are happening. That's AI agents. I think that's where the world's headed. Okay. Slightly deviating from this overall concept, is, isn't it going to be a little more expensive to sort of run all of these AI agents in parallel? Because you see, it's a lot of number crunching, it's a lot of high velocity, high volume yep. kind of a deal, right? With all of these things running either parallelly or sequentially, right. it, it takes a lot of compute. So what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, so I think, uh, again, if you, as an individual trader, if you try to build this entire platform on your own, of course, it'll be super costly. Hmm. I mean, ChatGPT subscription alone is like $200 or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah. They recently introduced that operator where it can navigate through websites, analyze the data and give oh, you things. I, it can make, make bookings for you, right? Oh, okay. That is what the AI agents, that is where we're moving towards. Okay. That definitely will be expensive if you're doing it from a generic AI or a general AI hmm. system like ChatGPT or DeepSeek or hmm. Ulama for that matter, hmm. Hmm. right? But uh, that's where that's where I think platforms like TradeOmate will come in, where mm. we've built these agents for you, mm. for the individual trader, and uh, the economies of scale come into the picture. Where yes, we've got one user, yes, it's costly, right? But we offset that cost across multiple different users, mm. with the added benefit of that it's specifically built for trading and investing. Yeah. So you're guaranteed to have the right architecture that can crunch this high volume velocity data while uh, exposing the user interface, the user experience in a way that is easier for you to do, where you don't have to worry whether it's an agent in place, it's an LLM, it's what AI, it's what ML, you don't have to care. Mm. You're getting what you wanted in the context of the financial of market. The financial of market, right. So those guardrails are already in yes. place. And so that will be a lot more accessible and cheaper for the yes. user as well. Yes, I got it. So is it safe to say that the day is not far where we'll have a fully automated trading assistant to sort of help you do these things? Yes, definitely. That's a great word, trading assistant. I think that's a that's a great analogy to say. Yes. Right. So this was this was all about, you know, what's the need of the R right now and where we are. The adoption for these things are is also not far off. But what next? What what next advancement do you see in the financial industry with respect to AI and how exactly can they be augmented here? Yeah, so I think uh, I see a lot more hedge funds, a lot more quant funds hmm. moving towards uh, automated execution uh, hmm. and AI driven strategies, ML driven strategies. Hmm. Um, SEBI also recently uh, released a consultation paper yeah. for algo trading, yeah. right? Uh, what is algo trading? I mean, at the end of the day, it's an automated execution, right? Absolutely. Now that automated execution, whether it's happening via some API someone has written with the Python code locally or whether it's an ML model, right? I believe that it's moving towards ML model. Hmm. Util investors are getting to a place where you, they can write code now with the help of all of these LLM yeah. models also. So I think as a whole in the financial markets, we are moving towards uh, AI a lot, uh, hmm. where whether it's a hedge fund or a retail investor, a retail trader, everyone's using AI to execute their trades and do analysis as well. Do you think we'll ever get to a place where there is an AI managed hedge funds as well? Yeah, yeah for sure. Why not? Uh, I think uh, obviously regulators are keeping an eye out for it as well. Yeah. Um, it's very easy to go wrong uh, when you're using AI, as I mentioned earlier yeah. as well. Yeah. Right. So as long as you're conscious, hmm. um, yes, I think that can happen. It's just that do it in a way that does not, you don't like play the market, manipulate the market. Right. That's where the regulators also yeah, come. Yeah, I think, I think people yes. are already taking steps there with, with the NASDAQ yes. smart framework and all of those. Yes. So the, the big debate, right, can AI replace traders? Because this has been in the news for a long time. AI is coming after your jobs. AI is doing this. AI is doing that. Yep. Do you think an AI can ever replace a trader? Uh, I don't see as like a replacing thing. 
back in the 1900s when the computers came out everyone was worried that computers will take away all the jobs right yeah. but so many jobs were created with the computers right yeah. i see it as the same thing i don't think ai will ever replace the traders instead uh, traders need to think of it as like an augmentation tool hmm. right where the ai is augmenting you is helping you assisting you yeah in making the entire uh, trading process whether it's research uh, execution or back testing or etc the entire process is a lot more effective and efficient right hmm. so it's more of an augmentation tool than like a tool that will replace them so you think that that human intuition and the critical thinking yes. will still yes, be definitely. an absolute winner yeah. with ai yes and i don't think you can uh, you can ever replace human intuition or uh, the experience that we've had right interesting interesting thoughts yashu uh, any final thoughts for a uh, users yeah i think uh, ai is not just the future it's the present uh you should uh, log on to platforms like uh, tradeomate.one and uh, use the tools give us feedback of how you're liking it and uh, um, start following us for uh, not just smarter but intelligent trading thank you so much yeshu for joining us that's a wrap for this episode thank you so much for viewing if you have any specific topics that you would want us to cover please do comment below please do join the discord community to engage in such discussions with the traders we already have something called a tradeomate army and don't forget to follow us for more deep dives in tech trading and ai thank you